from Activist Bar Home and Garden. And guess what, guys? We are going to work on the kitchen. Oh, my God. I've been waiting for this forever and ever and ever, ever since I moved into this house. I've moved here for 12 years. Oh, my God. It is freaking time to get out of these small cabinets and into some bigger ones. All right, to first off, in order to get this stuff done, we have to do several things, like move all this whole wall area. So as you can see, I'm going to quickly try to get past all this um, and shimmy it, I guess, with the dogs too, because, you know, I guess that is fun too. We can't do a bunch of, you know, stuff without doing that too. So anyway, um, we're going to start doing a bunch of kitchen remodels going on um, this year. Um, this is what I've been cleaning everything up for and everything else. Don't worry, we're going to get to the remodel. Um, you're going to see a bunch of um, wiring and stuff and cutting and taking down a bunch of stuff to get started. And at the end, I got a little sneak peek for what's come next for the next couple weeks. Um, I had a little bit mishap at the end, um, but I'll kind of explain that later, probably in next video or so, kind of going over that. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good one with this one and I hope you guys like it. So stay tuned for more great fun. <laughs>
I got all this potential, it's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Who were you to tell me how to live life? In these times it feels like nobody is right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue what could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous Be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential The grind is all in your mental And I don't think you understand what I'll go through Just to be in control of my life soon All the negativity, man, I'm immune I don't really need a mask with all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages Five, ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit, I'm tenacious And if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way then Got one life, I won't regret it I will fight until I get it I'll look back one day from heaven And say, damn, I learned some lessons And say, damn, I have no questions I had fun in every second And the journey was a blessing, yeah They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous but I don't Yeah. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip, and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh. And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe You can do anything But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? Alright guys, so the outlet that you're going to see coming up right here, this is the outlet that I'm getting rid of because all the cabinets are going to go up against this wall. So I'm moving all the cabinets um, up against this wall, so I need to move this outlet. And the outlet needs to be moved up against the another part um, closer so that I can use it for other things. So you're going to see me doing um, a electrical change from one side to another. Um, don't worry, this will make sense later um, in the future, probably. So this cool oscillating tool is awesome. Um, I hate drywall cutting and using that knife thing. I've done it a billion times before I started doing YouTube. And let me tell you, this thing is the best thing in the world. And I'd rather use this than the drywall cutting screw or knife. That thing's a pain in the ass and it takes too much pressure and my hands hurt and everything else so I think that this is a great way of you know not having to do that stuff so anyway you're gonna see that I'm going to put the cord through the wall and then it's gonna go down underneath and to the other outlet um, at this point in time I had to run to Lowe's no Home Depot um, because I had to get 
stuff and the electrical wiring is on at this point in time as you can see it is on so um i had to undo all this stuff run to lowe's and then get me two boxes so that i could do all this wiring stuff i used a fish tape to go through the wall and i'm cutting off all the wires here out of the outlet um for some weird reason all the outlets are old school um in here probably hence the reason why this is the house is 80 1982 i think it was built so um i'm actually older than my house <laughs> funny thing um but anyway um this is going to be two outlets i just realized after doing this i'm like oh shoot now i gotta put two you know wires through it and i put one in and then i put the box through and i was like hey there's a reason why there's two power things on here huh and so yeah ended up having to do two power strips on this thing one is the electrical part and yeah so anyway had to redo that had to rework it blah 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 so now um still trying to uh put that through and figure that one out so um that's what happened at this point in time um, and then eventually you'll see me having to put the fish tape through there and wire it back through again with two versus one uh, socket because I was looking at it and stuff. So anyway.
five of the other blank brushes and not have a piece of the So I basically just went back through with the hacksaw all the way down it to make sure that it was nice and level. And I got the floor all the way up and it worked real well um, to get everything up. And so that was one of the good things about um, getting the hacksaw back. But the other thing was is that I had a line, so that made it a little bit easier also to actually follow down the whole entire length of everything. And then I realized that I could get the whole thing up um, with my crowbar, my little mini one for the floor, which worked really well through this whole thing, um, even through like the baseboards and everything else, they were easy. I love this, this is the whole entire set that I bought at Lowe's, like, I don't even know if it was earlier this year or the year before or what have you, but um, it was nice to have. I'm even considering at this point in time kind of cutting um, some more of the baseboard away from one of my cabinets is going to be. Um, I did happen to already screw in my cabinet already, but we'll get to that later um, when we do get back to um, doing more the install part. Um, this is where I'm sticking the fish tape through um, the outlet. Um, I do like this fish tape. The thing about that I've learned with the fish tape is, is that you need to tape the end and then tape far down on the other end of where it measures to where it's supposed to stop. So then you know where, if it went all the way through or you have to search through the wall for the actual fish tape. Um, I learned that a long time ago when we used to, when I did the speaker wires in my house uh, before. And that was the only way that I could uh, figure out how and where and how long it would be to get it all the way through. Um, so that's something that might be a little helpful hint for you guys later down the road um, when you do look at this stuff. Um, it helped me out a lot after learning to do this a billion times on speaker wire. Um, so that was kind of helpful too. So basically positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, and negative. I'm basically going to close up this wall and I know it looks pretty bad. Um, I had to actually take a hacksaw through this one and my hacksaw, um, I guess I'm not very sturdy with it because I tore up the wall pretty good. Um, it doesn't matter because there will be a plate that's going to go over this wall area and if I want to I can smooth it out and make it look pretty. Um, but there will be a face plate that goes over this so we don't have to worry about it. And I will be installing that probably um, here in the near future. Actually happen to have it around. Um, and so I thought I had it. I didn't know where it was, but I found it. It's, it was um, in my garage. So thank God I had one. I just had to find several screws to put it in and plug it up. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done too um, while I'm at it which will be a nice addition to covering up all the wires. So stay tuned for more great fun on wiring too.
tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing I got all this potential that's deep inside of me But they hate when you're successful cause they try to be They sit there being just mental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't spend it too soon <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you who are you to tell me how to live life? In these times, it feels like nobody is right, yeah So I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell could make me happy And I don't think you have a clue, what could that be? They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'ma keep chasing They tell me that I'm never gonna make it Something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck I'ma keep chasing I think this life could be special If I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think that work is essential The grind is all in your mental And I don't think you understand What I'll go through Just to be in control of my life soon All the negativity Man, I'm immune I don't really need a mask With all I've been through I've been making changes for the ages Five, ten year plans are contagious I attack that shit, I'm tenacious And if you ain't, get the fuck out of my way then Got one life, I won't regret it I will fight until I get it I'll look back one day from heaven And say, damn, I learned some lessons And say, damn, I have no questions I had fun in every second And the journey was a blessing, yeah They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous So basically guys, I have a stud finder on the wall right now. So I'm trying to figure out where the, all the studs are. They're actually all 16 on center. Um, they're not like that in the laundry room, which is really weird. Um, that's another story. If I ever get to the laundry room, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that I marked everything 16 on center um, in the wall to make sure that I knew where all the studs were before I put up all my cabinets. I need to know where I'm going to drill into to hook the cabinets up against the wall. And um, it's just like a safety thing just to make sure that we don't make any of the wall cabinets like come off of the wall. Um, I'm measuring to make sure that they're 16 on center and they all are. So I just wanted to make sure that my calculations were correct um, and the stud finder was correct and it was. So that's perfect it works out pretty well i love that stud finder it was like the best thing i ever bought god how many years i've had that for like several years so and i just use a um, marker <laughs> yeah a sharpie to <laughs> actually <laughs> um yeah and to actually uh get it to um mark on the wall it does work uh, you can use a pencil, but nobody's ever going to see that. And yes, I am keeping the paint color. Um, it is not bright red, by the way. It just looks like that on TV. It is actually raspberry is the color of it. And that is seriously the name. It's on the can. I can show it to you later. Um, yep, I am keeping the color. Um, I'm not taking it down. I like the color. I like brightness. Um, so... It will be bright and yes it's because of all the light so it looks bright wide um, you can see that I'm carrying in one of the cabinets um, you're gonna see um, me trying to lift that whole thing in here and it worked out pretty good um, the key is to keep on all of your dressing the whole package everything on to um, the cabinet itself and then try to get it out of the box 
One of the things that I did find out is, is that that cabinet was way too tall. So I thought I ordered the correct size, but guess what I did? I got my hacksaw out or my circular saw and I did some remodeling on it to make it work, but had to do some other things into the wall to find out that it wouldn't work either. So, um, I probably should have gotten a shorter size, but that's okay. I did not want to take all these guys back to the store because that's what would happen with Home Depot. It's just that you have to take them back and I didn't want to. So I decided that I was going to make it work and that's what I did and it works fine. So the only thing is, is that I'm going to have to make sure that I do the same on the rest of the cabinets, which I will. So I'm not too worried about it, but you're going to see here in a few minutes, one of my little mishaps with the cabinets. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. Everything's fine. I'm still alive. No bruises, um, that I can find yet. Some of my bruises are old from other things, but anyway, we won't get to that. That's from working and I just bonk myself a lot. So anyway, um, thanks for watching today's Food is Power Home and Garden, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please stay tuned to watch more on the kitchen renovation video, and I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, and I want you guys to continue to give me these such great feedback on everything, and um, you guys keep me motivated and keep me going and everything else. So, um, I hope I kind of do the same thing because I'm hoping to inspire everybody, inspire something that you like or you love, um, and inspire other people to do something wonderful in everybody else's life too. Um, I wanted to also tell you that, um, I appreciate you guys for, you know, subscribing. We're about 10,000 almost. And I also wanted to say that we're almost monetized, um, I think we have like a thousand more to go and then we're monetized, which won't take that long, I don't think. So that's going to be cool. We're going to start being able to um, pay for all these renovations, which is cool. But that's not why I do it. I do it for fun because this is what I like to do rather than my regular day job that I do. Um, so thanks for watching today's video and I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys keep on um watching the videos all the way through watch commercials too if you can um that helps you for our videos and everything and um you guys have a wonderful weekend and i hope you guys have a safe one and we'll see you next time on food aspire home and garden